Hey guys, John here. Today we're in the Arturia Mini Freak V, and today's patch is called Hypa Hypo, which is a detuned super saw with a little bit of distortion. So, uh, yeah, this is what we're making today. So yeah, aggressive, detuned, distorted, the whole goodness here. And by itself, it sounds like this. Also nice on the low end as well. So something that we're gonna be doing throughout the week with this synthesizer is I find that with this one using external compression and external reverb, you get a little bit of a better result than using the stuff in-house, which actually frees up your effect slots to do some other things. So with that being said, choose your favorite compressor, your favorite reverb, and let's get started. So all over here on the fresh instance, let's go ahead and go to a new preset. And on our default one here, let's turn off the effects for now, as well as on the channel, let's go ahead and disable our compressor and I'll also turn off the reverb. So with no effects, no compression, no reverb, we have something kind of like that, which is much less anticlimactic or much more anticlimactic. I don't know. Anyway, it's much different without the effects and processing. And this patch is actually really easy to make. It just sounds really good in this synth. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is let's check out our oscillators. So the first one is gonna be this super wave, which is perfect for this here. So click down this list here, go to super wave, and it's gonna start moving like this sort of wave is gonna be a saw, which comes by default. And we're gonna be increasing our detuning right here. We have 53.4, so let's go ahead and increase that. 53.4, and I also, I've noticed that this synthesizer comes out a little bit lower than I generally like, so I kind of boost up here. So we're doing 4 dB on the master. So something kind of like that, just a little extra <laughs> right there. So the first oscillator's volume is gonna be all the way at the top, so let's go ahead and bring it all the way to the top like that. And then for our second one, we're also gonna be using Super Wave as well. So let's go ahead and dial that guy up. So Super Wave as well. And if we look at the tuning here, this is gonna be up one octave here and also the default five cents, which is actually kind of okay. And for this guy, let's get some of the settings right. So it's gonna be saw. The detune is gonna be 64.6. .6. So actually we can just turn this up here, turn this down for now. So pretty detuned, right? But that's really the charm of that. And then the volume for this guy is gonna be 67.5, which I believe is probably, no, it's close to default, 67.5. So now let's bring in both of our oscillators here. So we're actually pretty close. I mean, that's, that's the majority of what the sound is gonna be. So let's take a look at our filter. So our cutoff is going to be 75. So let's bring this to 75. It's gonna be low pass. 75 and let's take a look at a resonance We're kind of high up at 48 and the envelope amount is 26 so 48 26 And that's nice too, because we can kind of get a little bit of high end once we hit our note and then it kind of fades away, which we're going to adjust our envelopes here in a moment. Okay, so go ahead and click the advanced tab so we can get into the envelope, which is kind of funny <laughs> going to the advanced for an envelope. That's interesting. So let's go to advanced for both and let's take a look at our envelope here. So our attack is going to be pretty quick at zero. So same thing right there. We don't really have to change much. And then really it looks like the only stuff we really have to change here is going to be the release because that's kind of important. So let's bring this to 48. Which if you notice is not only uh, affecting the amplifier, it's also affecting the filter. So we get a little bit of that slower release of those notes. And then we're gonna be using a little bit of glide because I feel like that kind of makes this patch a little bit more exciting. So 0 0.096 for glide. It's subtle, but it's there. So it's kind of a little, uh, little nice thing there. 
Okay, so now we can focus on effects. And what's cool about this synth is that it's pretty fast to use. You can dial it something pretty quick and you generally get pretty nice results. So uh, yeah, our first effect is going to be this default chorus, which comes by default, obviously. But we're gonna be changing a couple things here. So mainly the, dr uh, the dry wet. So on this guy, we have a quite high, so 49.6. And it kind of gives us a little bit more of a stereo feel. You see how it kind of like shoots those left and right on the uh, stereo field? And it also adds a little bit to that detuning vibe. So for our next effect, let's go here to the main one here and turn this on. So this is going to be a delay, which is kind of fine because it's already here. But we're changing the presets to ping pong sync. So let's go ahead and do that. Preset ping pong sync. And for this guy, our feedback is going to be 36.2. So bring us up to 36.2, something right around there. And then our level here is going to be 58.0. We also got to turn it on here. And then our time, I believe, is one of eight data comes by default, which is fine. Yeah, so this is going to be this here. And it's going to be on a send as opposed to the insert. So make sure you have a send selected there. Okay, so let's take a look at our last one here. So our last effect is gonna be this distortion, which adds a little bit of hair on it, which is kind of nice, especially for this type of thing. So without the distortion, it's smooth. It's kind of almost a little sandpapery texture, if that makes any sense. And then we can turn the distortion on. And it just sounds, ah, it sounds meaty. So we're gonna be using soft clip for this guy. So on the third effects, let's deselect this reverb, and then we're gonna go to distortion and change it from classic to the soft clip. So now some of the settings here, the gains all the way to the top, we don't really need any of the high pass or low pass filtering. And our dry wet's gonna be 19.6. It's really just a smidgen less than default. And if that's a little too much for you, you can always just dial back this knob here, but I find it's kind of cool having this distor distortion here. All right, so one thing that we didn't, or that we forgot to change is the octaves here. So on the second oscillator, let's go ahead and bring this up to 12 right here. Here we go. Okay. So next up, what we need to do is add some compression on this. And I do feel like the external compression really kind of brings this out. So my favorite compressor that I've been using is actually going to be Presswerk from Yuhi. Now, this one's really cool because we have this crazy interface here, but if we don't really need something this insane, we can go to this different view and we can go to Easy Compressor or something like that, which really kind of just targets the focus knobs that we need, and we really don't need something crazy for this like that. So for this, we can go to a ratio of maybe four to one, something like that, and we are active. Maybe a little bit of faster response to kind of just dial in the compression to taste. Uh, it just makes this really sound aggressive. And I also like if you are using the same compressor, a little bit of soft clipping here is nice as well. Okay, so now it's time for our reverb so we can go ahead and close our compressor window. And we just attach it to our vintage verb and, you know, drag it however much we want. And if you're also using Valhalla Vintage Verb, you can go ahead and screen cap these settings here and apply those if you'd like to. I find this one's kind of cool. We can always use a concert hall, which is nice. We can always use the dirty plate algorithm, which is also very cool as well. So we can click this and try out the dirty plate as opposed to the concert hall. <laughs> And then the 
low end, like I was saying before. It's funny how you can really get the mini freak to sound huge. So yeah, that's pretty much how you make this patch. It's not complicated whatsoever, but just doing a couple of key things, you can really get a beefy sound out of this thing. Yeah, so that is this patch. If you'd like to get a free copy of this patch, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Just keep in mind. And I also put it in the description of the patch that use external compression and use external reverb because you're going to get a fatter, bigger sound from that. So yeah, use whichever ones you like. Those are the ones I use. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.